Hey everyone, it is Kat with Wandering Soup and today we are going to talk about Amazon.com versus Amazon.com.mx. We're going to prize fight it out, right? We're going to see which one is the better one for you and also share my tips and tricks on how I use actually both and how they both differ slightly, just enough to make you want to go look at both of them as well. I look at it. So first off, I will let you know that with my Amazon.com US account, I do have Prime attached to it. I do not have it attached to my MX account, mainly because I've had my Amazon um, account for uh, 20 years, I believe. So that means I'm old. Um, and I use it for not only the shipping and all everything that's included with that, but I also use it for the TV. Um, I watch a lot of channels, a lot of shows rather that are on Amazon Prime. I also use Amazon Prime Music. And I have a Kindle. So to me, it's a worthwhile product and I pay the money there. Um, the Amazon.com.mx, I do not have it. And the accounts um, do not connect. They're not joined. So you can't have one and um, bring over the services or the benefits that you get to the other one. So one, I just keep it basic. And the other one, I keep it locked and loaded with everything that I need on it. So. Uh, with that being said, there's still going to be shipping fees attached to a global Amazon uh, order. So that money that I pay isn't necessarily uh, taking away the shipping fees that typically happens in the U.S. Um, but it gives me enough that I'm okay with that, right? Uh, you, you're going to pay shipping fees on either account. so. It is what it is. Uh, Amazon.com, they typically separate it so you actually see it. Amazon MX is a little bit more included in the price. So you get that one um, one line price and you're actually pretty good. I, I like both. I like to see both where my money's going so it's not a problem. So with that being said, let's get into shopping. Amazon.com versus Amazon.com.mx. All right, so the, one of the first things you wanna do is bring up both sites when you're on your cell phone or your laptop your tablet whatever so it's going to be amazon.com and then amazon.com.mx once you have both of those sites up the next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that this has your name of course and the zip code of wherever you live at in, in mexico i am in merida i'm in the santiago region so the Zip code is 9700, and I make sure that it's on both of that. And that way, when you're looking, um, what they're gonna show you is items that can be shipped to Mexico primarily. It's not always the case for everything, but it will at least start you down that pathway so you're not looking, and you're like, oh, I really like this, and you go hit the buy, and it says, we don't ship to your area once you actually input your real address, right? So let's just start it from the get-go of where you need to be at. So I've been looking at coffee machines or espresso machines. So we're gonna take a look at that. And what we're gonna look for when we're on this site, or on this page rather, is for pricing. The pricing has to be there. And this phrase right here, ships to Mexico. That should be at the bottom of each item that you're looking at, right? If you don't see that, nine times out of 10, it does not ship to Mexico on the amazon.com site. I typically go here first and then I'll take what I found there and I price compared it on the Amazon.com.mx site. Uh, unless I just like the price and I, I like whatever is being offered on the Amazon.com site and then I just hit buy. But I typically don't do that because um, $2 is $2 saved, baby. So we're going to go here. Uh, let's say we, um, let's look at one of the best sellers that they have. It does not have a price and it does not have shipped to Mexico. I tend to just stay away from those. Um, there's going to be either you're going to be buying it from a different seller or some other things like that. Eh, I'm good. <clears throat> so I go over here and let's say uh, this one is $141. Let's take a look at it. So the cost is $141. Uh, they have a coupon so you can save $22. We'll click that. And then there's a $46.29 shipping and import fees. <clears throat> That's the thing I was saying that Amazon actually separates it so you can see it. 
Now, if you want to break that down even further, you can hit here and it's going to have Amazon Global Shipping, how much it's going to cost for shipping, and then it's going to have your import fees. And it also have your total, 188.28. And that's USD. This is not in pesos, right? So if I take this same machine, I'm going to cut and paste it and bring it over here to Amazon MX. And we're going to see how much it cost. I believe this is it right here. And I have my system set to translate from Spanish to English. Uh, and this cost is 4,910 pesos. I'm going to take this over to my currency converter. And that equates to $239.82 USD. So if we go back to this one, it was... Uh, 188.28. So if I like this machine, it's actually cheaper to buy it on Amazon.com. Occasionally, I save money by purchasing on Amazon.com.mx, and I'll show you an example of that. Let's see if I can find the machine that I was looking at earlier. This one right here, Delgon. This one right here is $99.95 plus there's a shipping and import fee. Um, this comes out to $131.78 for this machine. If I take this same machine and I come over here, I'm just making sure that we're comparing apples to apples. This is a EC155, and here we are. And this one is two four, this is 2,466 pesos. We're going to bring it over here, and this comes up to 120.45. So again, this one was 131.78. I'll take the savings, right? So on this one, I will order it through amazon.com.mx. The thing about both sites is um, tracking is available. Uh, so it'll tell you when it's shipped. Um, and so that's a great thing. Now the amazon.com is a little bit better. They'll have, they have that map feature where it'll show you that it's 20 stops away, 10 stops away. Amazon.com.mx does not offer you that. It'll just say that it's out for delivery. And delivery, of course, as you know, is all day. So both, to a certain extent, you got to sit at home and make sure that you're available for the item to be delivered to you. The thing about Amazon in Mexico is that they do not deliver it and sit it on your porch. They actually hand it to you. So again, you have to be home or someone in your household has to be home to receive the package. If no one's there when they ring the doorbell or knock or holler, because they will holler, uh, which I think is hilarious. They'll knock and they go like, hey! So you know that they're out there. Uh, but again, if you're not there, then they'll try again another day. They do have Amazon lock boxes here. Uh, you just have to find one that's in your area, put that address as the delivery address, and then you'll, you can go and pick it up. Uh, we've had no issues with Amazon um, knocking on our door, except a couple of times they've missed us or we've missed them. Though honestly, we were here. Uh, they just didn't knock loud, or maybe they didn't come by like they do in the US. I don't know. Uh, but it was re-delivered and we got the item. So th there is that. So that, that is that portion of Amazon.com versus Amazon.com.mx. Really up to you. I do recommend that you price comparison shop for both. Uh, you also want to look at delivery um, time of arrival. If you go back to the, the one that we were going to save about six bucks for, uh, the, the delivery for that was on Wednesday, February 2nd. And the other one would be there same day, Wednesday, February 2nd. So you're not losing anything when it comes to that. And I've also noted that even though you don't have that three-day delivery that Amazon Prime offers you in the U.S., typically within five to seven days an item arrives after shipping. I've had very few items that took longer than that unless they were coming from another uh, distributor within the Amazon, however they get their items. And they'll tell you that so you know that it's going to take two weeks or they're waiting for, to, for the other supplies to come back in or something like that. Typical shipping and buying online issues, so it's nothing surprising if you've done this before. Uh, just pay attention to the little things. Um, make sure that you're, again, price comparing. Um, 
looking at the shipping and import fees, make sure that they're you know dollars to dollars or dollars to pesos, and it's what you're looking for. And you shouldn't have any problems. Almost everything is available on one of the two sites, and if it isn't, then it may be available in country. And you can go to another site called Mercado um, that has local products. I think they're a little bit pricey though. But that's that's just me and my my shopping habits. So I again I am Kat. This is Wandering Soup and happy shopping.